Dejuan, do you feel like you guys had to really dig out of a pretty deep hole there after that first half? Do you feel like you pressed at all or anything like that, had to get out of your game because of the deep hole you were in? Um, I felt like we got in a deep hole, but we didn't. I mean, we fought. I feel like we fought hard to to a certain point. But then at one point, it just went downhill. But I feel like we still played our same game. Just got to make free throws and make layups, play better defense. Days one, Coach was talking about somebody bringing more energy to practice in the games. Is that something you feel like you can contribute in that way? Yes, because I feel like if you don't play hard and bring emotion, then you're disrespecting the game of basketball. So I feel like I can I can come in every day and play my hardest and give a lot of emotion, good emotion. Days one, uh, Howard goes for 19 on 6 of 16 shooting. How'd you feel like you guys have ended him tonight? I mean, he's a good player, so he's going to get his shots, make his. I feel like we tried our best to shut him down, but he played his game, did good. What was working for you tonight offensively? Can you repeat that again? What was working for you tonight offensively? Just getting rebounds, offensive rebounds, and just once the play break down, just cut back door, shoot the open shot, things like that. Your, your teammate Xavier tonight, he reached 1,000 points and 500 rebounds. I know it's some place you aspire to be in your career. What does what uh, X-Man mean to this team? Uh, he's one of our leaders. He's one of the persons who had had experience. He's been through everything you can go through in college basketball. So he's just someone I look up to and want to play like. What did uh, Coach kind of say at halftime? Maybe you both can answer this. I can. I didn't hear you. Uh, what did Coach say at halftime to get you guys to rally in the second half? If he want, he brought up uh, Barry Brown saying when they played against uh, Virginia, Virginia last year, if we don't want to come out and play, stay in the locker room. So I feel like we listened to what he said and we just tried our best, played the artist. Cardi, what do you feel like the number one thing that's missing with this team right now is? Uh, missing maybe just consistency, probably on the defensive end. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, if you play defense, you're going to give yourself a chance to win anyway. Uh, even if the shot's not falling, I know um, we're not shooting the ball as well as we're very capable of what, we, what we've seen in ourselves in practice and, and you know leading up to the season. But uh, going back to last year, we didn't shoot the ball well in non-conference. Uh, coming into to, uh, to conference until that West V game, we we got we start clicking and stuff like that. So I mean, uh, it's a long season. I think we only eight games in, so we still got time to, to develop. And we of course you know we got a, a, a couple young guys and stuff like that to, to get right. But I mean. At the end of the day, we just gotta, you know, keep our confidence. Uh, not gonna win every game. You know, we knew we know how how we lost this game, and those those other three, other two games that we've lost has been up to us. So we know what we need to do, and we gotta move on and uh, continue to learn and get better every day. I feel like you can uh, look for some more runouts, get some better stops, and some runouts to trigger the offense and get you going. Uh, for sure. Um, definitely pushing it pushing it more in transition. Uh, we turned them over a lot. We didn't get a lot of transition points. So, I mean, uh, that's that's us and a little bit credit to them, you know, getting better, I mean, doing good on transition defense. So, it's just, uh, it's really a, it's really small things that, that we need to get better at. It's not it's not huge, major things. So, I mean, uh, we're, we're really close. Dejuan, coach was saying how you and Antonio are really high on the play hard chart and how, I mean, how does it feel to get that praise from coach and the other coaches? Um, it feel good because a lot of our main players are on the, on the tra trap, I mean play hard chart so just want to keep, I want to win it. We just got to keep playing hard. Cardi, coach was mentioning just a second ago how difficult the adjustment's been just to be in the number one guy on the scouting report this year for the other team. How just would you describe what that adjustment's been like this year? Um, it's definitely been different. Uh, I know coming from my freshman season, it, I was more catch and shoot, being able to, you know, set up and be ready to whenever uh, Dean or Cam or Barry kick it out to me or ask whoever uh, passes it. And uh, last year, 
um, a little bit more ball handling still, that kind of role. And uh, now it's more, you know, really being the primary ball handler and, and you know, calling the plays and setting it up and stuff like that. And definitely, you know, people are definitely uh, drawing a bunch. I'm definitely drawing a lot of people on me, and it's just, you know, me passing it and, and making the right reads. I felt like my sis should have been a lot better this game, should have passed a little bit more. Felt like those uh, those shots, I, those floaters I took felt good to me. Just was either too strong or, you know, didn't hit off the backboard the right way. So I got to live with those. But um, definitely still had many opportunities to win this game. We brought it within two one time. We brought it within three one time. So in the second half, and we was down 13 and a half. So it's just like, you know, like I said, we were really close. Just uh, got to execute on in those, uh, in those uh, time frames. Cardi coach had mentioned a need for more of a, a leadership voice, whether that practice or during games. Is that something that you see out on the court that you think you can provide or that who can provide that on this team right now? Repeat that again. Coach had mentioned a lack of a, a leadership voice right now. He wants you guys to be a bit more vocal. Do, do you sense that out on the court of practice or games or such? Um, nah, I don't, I don't sense that. Uh, I feel like this is a really uh, great group of guys right here. We love each other to death. We all want to win. We understand that nobody wants to lose. And of course, you know, do every, everybody wants to, you know, make make plays and help the team win. So I mean, I don't think it's a a, a lack of a leader. I think it's just, you know, everybody. We we we're more action than than, than talking. I mean, uh, we don't have to talk about it. Everybody knows. Every I feel like everybody knows everybody's role. We're just trying to uh, trying to win. And right now it's. It's not going. We're not making shots, and sometimes we uh, collapse on defense. But uh, I mean, at times, it, I mean, somebody definitely does say something like, "We need to do this." That I think X is more of the the, the vocal person. He talks more, but I don't think it's a lack. Mm -mm. So speaking of Xavier, a thousand points, five hundred rebounds. You've been around Xavier for a while now. What do you think he means to this K State program? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, it was really whack that he was in, you know, foul trouble, so he couldn't really play much. We 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 could really use him on the defensive end. You know, he's always been a, a really great defender, and uh, he can. And I felt like you know the fouls didn't didn't help him get in his rhythm. You know, I feel like you know me and him are volume shooters. And, you know, it, it, we got to get uh, warmed up and stuff like that. And you know, the fouls kind of got him out his rhythm, so he didn't. Uh, I felt like he didn't he didn't feel it today. I don't know. Maybe if you you know speak to him, ask him about that. But that's just how I feel about it. But uh, he definitely means a lot. Like you said, a thousand points, five hundred rebounds. He's he's active on the boards. He's scoring, and he was doing that with you know Cam Dean and Barry and Wesley Wando here. So that's really you know it just shows that he can make shots. When you always do have to look ahead <coughs> in a long season, how do you guys get it turned around later this month? <clears throat> um, we turn around in practice. Um, just continuing to grind and, and get better and <clears throat> and get back to the basics and you know I play our you know our K State defense and, uh, just you know continue to you know be a top twenty defense in the nation which we I believe we still are uh, we just uh, had a couple slip ups today definitely credit to Marquette you know what I mean they made plays. Uh, Cardi Marquette shoots at, or, uh, Marquette shoots at 12 of 22 from three. Uh, what were some of the main issues in defending the three tonight? Well, uh, <clears throat> they had players that stepped up. You know, Kane had a really good night. I think he had 17 and nine. Let me see. Yeah, he had 17 and nine. He probably didn't average nowhere close to that. And he's three for four from the three. He was two for 10 leading up to this. So it's like, you know, they had people uh, make shots for them and, and you know also credit to Marcus Howard for finding those you know we we came into the game understanding that you know his assists were low so he didn't really pass the ball that much but he uh he probed it and then when we trapped him in the ball screens and and found his his teammates on the skips and stuff like that while we were tagging making sure he don't get the dive person so it was just you know him making some good reads and then of course his teammates knocking shouts when they when they passed it to him so and the, the coaches definitely said that the other guys were really good when he's not in it or he's you know he's not scoring so that that was another thing on the scout report that we uh, maybe took too lightly or something like that. So it's just, uh, you know, being locked in, focused, and uh, 
just getting past this game. I'm, 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 I'm past it. We lost. The game's over with. We got another game. Alabama State. Let's get, let's get it. Anything else for these guys? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.